morning guys, Dennis here. Uh, we are going to work on our EK today. Uh, ang bali ang plano natin is going to, we're going to install the subframe, uh, lower subframe braces. And uh, we are going to do some experiment instead of using the installation of the big uh, lower tie bar. I'm going to install the BWR lower tie bar on an ASR uh, subframe. So tara, pisa na natin. Medyo inangat ko na siya. Okay. Uh, safety reminders guys. When you're going to work underneath the the cars, make sure na pag angat ninyo, you put the yung ating tinatawag na jack stand. No? For secure. Para just in case magagalaw yung inyong kotse pagka habang nagbabaklas, nagkakabit hindi siya gagalaw-galaw so guys, ito yung nakakabit na BWR uh, BWR tie bar okay uh, right now I'm using this stock OEM na lower control bars kasi yung bushings nung nakakabit na BWRs ko yung medyo Siguro mga naka 4 days lang na gamit, no? And then uh, nasira na siya. So I'm trying to source out some good bushings na pwedeng uh, pang-replace doon sa bushing na kasama ng BWR. Yung pala yung isang issue natin guys dito, no? When you're not going to use a subframe tapos magkakabit kayo ng tie bar uh, underneath. Uh, medyo magbe-bend yung tie bar nyo kasi hindi pantay yung frame ng ano natin yung under yung rear subframe ng ating uh, EK okay so ingat pagbabaklas baka may mga lumipad na tornillo lady but if i lay down and i play dead and i stay dead maybe you'll get sick of being the monster guys, ito yung preparation natin dun sa ating subframe and as you see yung subframe uh, sandwich natin uh, tawag dito spacer no? itinuturnil yan here at saka dito yan tapos with ASR since ang ginagamit nya is big na tie bar dito supposed to be yung braces nung big kaya lang I'm not going to use big tie bars so I will be using the BWR ang kabit ko ng tie bar yan dito sa sa frame mismo no? uh, kasama nung kasama nung tornillo natin sa side frame itself so guys, ito na yung magiging basic na layout nung ASR, BWR, subframe and lower tie bars natin. Ano. So, with the ASR subframe, naka-standby na rin guys yung kabitan ng ating sway bar bushing uh, holder. And then, uh, yung tornillo nung para dun sa big braces, tinakpan ko na para hindi naman wala naman syang butas no yan, so ikakabit na natin sya living life everyday, let it die not okay, all I want and I pray, all I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive in that better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind maybe elevate living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days yeah all i need are some better days
medyo naka-encounter tayo ng konting hiccup dun sa gawa natin. So, ito yung original na stud bolt para dun sa subframe. Ito yung kasama nung ASR subframe. Mas mahaba na siyang di hamak from the original one. The thing is, specific lang pala siya, yung length niya, specific lang para kung ang gagamitin mo ay uh, big na tie bar. No? Uh, sasakto yung tornillo for the whole subframe. Pero, since we are going to use the BWR uh, tie bar, no? medyo kapo siya. Ang kumakapit lang sa kanya, yan lang. Oh. So, we will need to get a uh, little bit longer bolt stud bolt than this one no, dyan sa ating nearest hooking uh, tindahan ng tornillo tara mamasyal muna rin tayo ok guys so daming kick up ng ginagawa natin ano? other than yung tornillo di natin habili sunday uh, sarado si suking tindahan and then yung iba namang mga tindahan wala silang available so for now siguro uh, we will just we will just put the uh, subframe pero hindi na muna natin ikakabit si uh, lower tie bar no? and then uh, tomorrow most probably uh, malamang nito bibili ako ng bagong tornillo no, dyan sa mga uh, sukin tindahan natin Ito na. tapos isa pang hiccup umuulan Diba? ito naman guys yung kinakabit no, as uh, parang pasulong doon sa ating pagkakayo yung nagkabit nung, ano, ng, uh, ng uh, rear sway bar no? doon sa ating ASR uh, subframe so for now ikakabit ko pa rin muna sya para hindi mo kang ano hindi masyadong mukhang bear yung yung subframe and then you will notice guys yan o kinabit ko muna yung subframe itself and then once I get the proper stud bolts tomorrow ikakabit na natin yung lower tie bar at the same time I will try dun sa ating suking store as well as I'm going to visit Jam Chris no surplus shop uh, yun shout out nga pala kuya Jim okay, yan ang ating ano uh, supplier ng pagdating sa mga surplus uh, parts yan so ang tornillo natin for this one is going to be number 12 uh, meron siyang isang mahaba at saka meron siyang maikli yung, maik yung maliit will be on the lower part and then yung mahaba it's going to be on the upper part mali pala kasi may slot nga pala yung lower part nito para dun sa maikli and ito yung mahaba it's for the upper part Pag masyadong tight guys kasi aluminum din yung kabila na pinaka roscas na kinabit natin. No, this one. Pag uh, medyo masyado nyo sino uh, hinigpitan. Baka naman mamaya you will make an, uh, a mistake katulad ng mga nagiging problema ko before. Pagdating sa paghihigpit. No, broke some threads, broke some bolts uh, worst case scenario sa sobrang try kong paghihigpit guys naputol ko yung coolant temperature sending unit <laughs> nung makina nito and good thing nakuha siya nung uh, extractor okay, so pupunta naman tayo sa kabila and we will put it put the other one usat lang natin ito tayo sa ilalim yan Thank you. 
dito lang medyo may kunti kong na, ano, uh, problemahin no? dahil may dito yung ating exhaust mas maikling uh, sakit this one ayan o oh, yan ang issue natin dyan o oh. mga tama yung ating uh, yung ating long socket so kukuha ko na mas may click ayan ang thing na maganda when you have uh, when you are working with your car is that you know exactly is uh, what's going on with it plus uh, at the same time you're becoming more familiar with all the parts with all the kink cuts ng mga makina natin ng kotse natin so if ever worse comes to worst there will be no mechanics that will be available at uh, meron kang mga points that you can check no? alam mo na yung mga pwede mong subukan subukan gawin tingnan, double check now, you will be easy it's all bolted in pati dito bolt na sya and then now uh, we will put back now the tires and we will go to the next uh, work no? uh, we will need to change our thermostat sa makina okay. tires natin like subscribe and click that bell button